Hello, we're orange. We're both matching in our orange day, our favorite color. How are you doing, Bryce? Second time for today. I know it's well, it's 8 36 a.m. here. So I this is my second video today. I'm like on it. Like this feels good. So I'm so happy to be back with our coffee chat. Last week we couldn't do a coffee chat because I couldn't hear out of my right ear. So <laughs> so I'm glad to I be back. What about that? It feels so long ago, doesn't it? The, the time is moving so quickly at the moment. I completely forgotten about that. Is it all fixed now? Yeah, I, I mean, this is something I've struggled with. My whole, we know we've talked about this off camera. We both have ear issues. But I woke up that morning. We were filming with Tamara early that morning, and the whole time I saw myself doing this in the camera because I couldn't hear out of my, I hadn't, couldn't hear out of my right ear. So we couldn't do the coffee chat because I had to go deal with my ear. But um, and it gets your equilibrium off. I felt you know you feel kind of dizzy when one side of your ear isn't isn't working so um but you yeah. gotta laugh at it just that's just the whole having a human body can be comical sometimes so i'm glad we're back this week though so. exactly and we're going to be talking about the human body quite a lot and how it fits into this whole development ourselves but we've just come off a really really lovely round table with medina and david in australia haven't we where we did a really interesting or medina had done a really interesting of the hawkins scale of consciousness reading on the U uh, Australia, United States and the UK. So that will be up on our channels later on today. And I'd really encourage people to watch that because it's fascinating. And I think it links into what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, for sure. It was really fascinating. And I really, yeah, when, once we get that up on our channels, guys, you should totally watch it because it was extremely, you can always take the macro and bring it into the micro. For your own personal life too it was very i learned things from that exactly. that round table which is the whole point of doing these videos right that we're all we're all continually learning and evolving completely completely and one of the things so you and our dear friend shanti and Mornay from um solutions with aquarius rising africa because their new channel um their second channel um you were doing a lovely chat yesterday about um cold therapy and we wanted to talk today a bit about how working on the trinity of your physical body, your emotional body and your spiritual self um, in harmony is so important. And obviously, that's something that's just absolutely the key to all your training and practice, isn't it, Bryce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the physical body is you can think of it if you're new to this concept of because I know in the Western world. For many generations, especially in the West, generally speaking, a lot of people separated the body and the mind. You know, if you got cancer, you got sick, it was just, oh, well, that's your DNA. We didn't understand what our, our ancestors understood that mind, body, spirit are all one living vessel in this life. And so if you're new to this, you can think about the body as kind of being like your GPS system. And, um, you know, like, like, uh, Surrey will yell at you if you make a wrong turn, like turn around, you know, that's your body when you feel kind of wonky in an area it's your body telling you that there's something to pay attention to you took a wrong turn let's let's course correct and you made a really good point Catherine in when we were talking about the consciousness scale and and I think most of our audience can on a very human level understand this when you're depressed or you're in a state of fear or anger you feel that heaviness in your physical body too and when you're on the flip side when you're really happy and you're joyous you feel it in your physical body too mm -hmm. and so that kind of shows you the connection and sometimes i think in order you know that there's that whole a body emotion stays in motion so where the awareness is going is where everything's flowing and so sometimes a good trick to start to u-turn is to kind of get the body to react first does that make sense and that's kind of the cold therapy. perfect sense and that's why i really want to because over the years obviously i've been working like you have in our respective areas for a long while long before we started doing youtube and one of the things i found so powerful whether you're working with a human or an animal of any species because emotions we know trapped emotions manifest themselves in physical issues and there's so much research out there that shows that. I love the Louise Hay, the emotional causes of disease. There's loads of other people that have done loads of research to show how about, for me, the root cause of, of all physical things are trapped emotions and toxicity. And the toxicity is a lot more of a recent thing that we've been bombarded with a lot over the last century in particular. But sometimes, for particularly for humans, the emotional side of things can be very difficult to tackle. Because if you, like you just started off by saying, 
if you're feeling emotionally really challenged for whatever reason, whether it's depressed, whether it's anger, whether it's fear, whatever those emotions are that are really gripping you, then on an energetic scale, and we'll put below the video the Hawking scale of consciousness, on an energetic scale, you've got your, a very low vibration. Now, if you're on a low vibration emotionally, the chances are that at a cellular level or a physical level, you'll be at a low vibration or a low stored energy. Yeah. And therefore, you don't have the resilience to deal with, with your emotions or your physical self, and you get caught in this vicious circle. Mm -hmm. So one really good opening, and I think you're brilliant about this, and we've both got different tools in our toolkit for it that overlap a lot, is when you start empowering yourself by taking getting your physical vessel in its best possible state, one, by the very nature of raising the vibration in a physical level, you release a lot of emotions and you've talked a lot about that in your yoga practice mm -hmm. and then also you've got the energy to deal with whatever's sent you whether it's an emotional level or a spiritual level because we've talked a lot about spiritual attacks as well yeah for sure and it also so like I you know if, if you get if you're feeling depressed I'm not saying of course if you need to sit in the corner and cry for a little bit that's fine too but just if it mm. becomes a rut go out, take a walk, go do something because something chemical also happens and that's endorphins and endorphins. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie legally blonde where I she's, don't think I have, no. she's defending a alleged uh, murderer and she goes, but she exercises a lot and exercise causes endorphins and endorphins make you happy and happy people don't kill their husbands, you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's oh. true. It does. It helps manage that. Uh, it, it's the way it's, it, it's, a, it's something that I think, creator nature gave us to help us manage things and um and it, it is about changing the direction of the energy energy cannot be created nor destroyed it can only be changed and that's the alchemy that our friend shanti talks a lot about and sometimes i'm not saying that if you're feeling depressed you have to go out and run a marathon go no. take a 10 minute walk around the park it's going to suck for the first couple minutes because you're going to be feeling like crap but when you get that heart rate up when you get your blood pumping your blood is your sacred DNA. It's the physical manifestation of your life force. And so once you get it moving, if it's stagnant, you get it moving, you start to feel that life coming back again. And that's going to help you deal with your issues. I know personally, a lot of attorneys who work with um, in criminal defense are big time runners. Yes. And they make time for it because they have so much they're having to face every single day with some of the worst crimes in humanity. How do they deal with that? They put their running shoes on, mm. get their mind to calm down a little bit, get their blood pumping. And, um, and yeah, it's, it's uh, well, the when Win Hoff actually promotes cold therapy too, which is something that we talked about with Shanti yesterday, which is a, if you go to cryotherapy, it's three minutes and it will flip your mood. It will help with, I know he talks about it, helping depression, helping stuff like that. And it's literally tricking the body, not even tricking the body. It's, it's activating the body to do something. To yeah, because it opens up the whole cardiovascular system. And as you say, that then gets movement ever going. And what you don't want in anything is you don't want trap. You don't want lack of movement. Lack of movement in any area of your life is going to cause you issues if it stays there for too long. And so what I love, I mean, people have talked to, you know, there's a cryotherapy places. You can, anyone, it doesn't matter. So there's so many things that you can do, whatever your budget, whatever your circumstances, however busy you are. So everyone can make time for a cold shower in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now, I live in the UK. We all make jokes about the UK weather. It's up and down like yo-yo. It's really sunny today. It was pouring with rain this morning. So it, it's I am hysterical because I've always been felt the cold a lot. So I have a hot water bottle all the time at night. I now, within two weeks, I got myself, I've been doing it for a lot longer than that, but within two weeks, I went from not even being able to get under the cold shower to be enjoying a two-minute freezing cold shower and getting out and then going out and doing my horses in the cold and everything and everything because it completely invigorated and it reawakened bits of my body. Yeah. And then what I do is combine it with a lot of the breathing and really control the breathing, which I know you do. And I direct it to different areas of the body. So, for mm -hmm. example, I have hip issues. Um, we joke in my family, if we were Labradors, we wouldn't be allowed to breed because you have to hip school the Labradors to breed. And we've all got <laughs> dodgy hips in my family. 
um, and wasn't helped by a lot of gymnastics when I was younger. But now I direct the cold water, my breath to my hips. Bingo. What a difference, everyone. So if you, do, wherever you start, I love Louise Hay says, you know, if you're going to sprinkle in your house, doesn't normally matter which room you start in. You know, Bryce might choose to start in the kitchen. I might choose to start in the living room. But you know you've got to get around all the rooms. So you can start on your spiritual development. You can start on releasing your trapped emotions. You can start on your physical body. But you know in this journey you're going to circle around to all of them on a continual basis because each time you improve one of them, it has a knock-on effect, almost yeah. instantaneously on the other areas of your life. And you're right. Like I, t I talked about this with Shanti yesterday with the cold therapy. Now I started with the cryotherapy, which is where mm -hmm. you go and you get into a refrigerator. Basically it's really cold. And I always would laugh and say, that's the extent of what I'm going to do. I could never take an ice bath because the cryotherapy you're in for three minutes at the three minute mark. And I'll read you guys the, um, I have it here, the temperatures, uh, for the cryotherapy, it's negative 200 to negative 300 Fahrenheit, which is negative 129 Celsius to negative 184 Celsius. So very cold, two to four minutes. Where I go at the three minute mark, they pull you out. Like you have to get out. Now I always always laugh and say, but I would never take an ice bath. I can do the refrigerator, but I can't do the ice bath. The ice bath is 15 minutes. But now I'm at the point where I can't go there right now because of, mm. and so God's kind of like, here you go. That's Here's it. your option. As an orb flew by me, here's your option to, and I'm actually going to order a bucket for ice bathing because it is addictive and it does invigorate you. And it does every time uh, I take a cold shower every morning and, and oh, I yeah. baby when it comes to the cold. I mean, I laughed with Shanti and Mornay down here in the deep South. If they even think there's a possibility that we might get a little bit of a flurry, the piggly wiggly sells out of bread and water. Cause everyone thinks it's the damn apocalypse. You know, we don't do winter in the South. Mm. We just don't do it. It just is not a thing down here. So I am not even someone who's equipped to really mm. deal with hardcore cold weather. But this, the cryotherapy has, I, when I started going, I didn't even realize the, the benefits for your mind or the benefits for your vanity too. It, it, it turns the white fat into brown fat, which is the good fat we need to burn mm. to help give us energy. I just went because of inflammation issues. But mm. the side effects that I noticed I was sleeping better. My anxiety was decreasing. Um, I, I had a spiritual experience that I can't even explain every time I would go. And it's because you are bringing, we kind of spoke about this morning about this level of comfort. We are all so comfortable, but when you want change, you have to go through friction and sitting in a cold refrigerator or a cold bath is definitely friction. You're going to have Absolutely. to breathe through it. You're good. And I do the same thing. I bend over in the, in the shower and have the ice cold water hit my lower back. I do the same thing, yeah. really get it to penetrate into places where I struggle with like inflammation and it, it is addictive. It's addictive. Yeah. It's, 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 addictive. it's just brilliant. And so what I love is what Bryce and I, what we try and do is we try and just share a lot of different options. So some people love to take products that really work and just having the most amazing testimonials from so many of my clients on some of the products because some people like to have things that are more tried and tested. Other people um, haven't got any money to spend so everyone can get somewhere and go for a walk if you can't yeah. physically walk you can do some movement and we've talked about breathing before and meditation things so it doesn't matter what your circumstances as joe dispenser says you know you're not too old too young too fat too thin you, vegan meat eater doesn't matter all of these excuses everyone can do something but when you start with something simple and this is really important for our animals as well because a lot of animals that are in human environments get nowhere near enough movement and are not allowed to move in a species appropriate way so you know you you've only got to look in the park and see young children playing and seeing what they do and how they move and how free and how they can do this and do that and so what I would encourage people to do is, is just have a bit of fun. Even if it's in your sitting room, you can do something without a shadow of a doubt. And you can also do the breathing and you can do the cold showers. I mean, Wim Hof on his website has got a free app that gives you so much information. And there's loads of free stuff on YouTube. So there really is no excuse to pick something and go for it. And the sense of achievement I found when I could stay in and actually come out and say, I really enjoyed that, a cold shower for two minutes. Now, two minutes sounds nothing, but when you try it, you'll realize yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot when you're in that cold. Um, 
and and particularly if you'd have seen how utterly pathetic I was on day one, you know, I mean, it was ridiculous. It's cold water for goodness sake, but yeah. Um, but so, you know, just set yourself targets. And then if you feel so good about yourself on a physical level, but also it just lifts your emotions so much in a lasting way. You know, it's interesting, the human brain and you're right. Like you turn music on in your living room and dance. Mm. No one's watching you. And if they are, they're probably enjoying themselves because they're seeing somebody happy. You know, I love watching kids dance because they're happy. Oh, yeah. You know, they're happy when they're dancing. Um, but I tell my students this all the time, you know, uh, again, in the form of yoga practice, there's like, there's very extreme postures, like behind the head, all that kind of stuff, but no teacher, you're, you're never going to ask a teacher to tell you to get more flexible, mm. you, but you're always going to hear a teacher tell you to get stronger because something happens to you when you start to work on yourself and you start that strength becomes tangible and it changes you. It changes how you feel about yourself as well. It mm. starts to give you confidence. It starts to make you realize that you can do anything. You know, it's just actually doing it. You know, it's like, I know people who run marathons and when they finish their first marathon, they have a total like spiritual experience where they realize, holy shit, I just did that. Yeah. What else can I do? Give me the next thing. And I said the first time I ever did cryotherapy, and it was like three minutes. And I was like, well, shit, if I can do that, I can do anything because that was cold. You know, mm. that oh, you're watching the clock count down. It's not, you know, and you are having to learn how to breathe through it and to calm yourself down. And you're seeing all the hairs on your arm, like form icicles, you know? So, um, you know, and it's, it's, uh, there's something very, very powerful in taking those steps. And it can't, it can just be a 10 minute walk. Exactly. You, know? you don't have to push you somewhere, just somewhere, but don't you find Bryce having a target is really, mm. really helpful because, I'm really lucky. So I've got like with my family, we quite often do these things and explore and do new th things together. So that makes it a lot easier if you've got someone to hold yourself accountable. But of course, the most important person to hold yourself accountable is yourself. Yeah. And I, I people always ask, you know, I get that question a lot, especially when I'm teaching courses, because we I do practice uh, six days a week. It's an intense you have to be disciplined and do it. Of course, I've been doing this for years. So it's not something that's not a goal you want to start with right? You don't want to start with a, you know, don't compare my chapter 10 to your chapter one. You know, you got to start where you are at this moment. But I tell my students, they always ask like, oh, you must be at that point where it's easy for you to get up. And I'm like, it's never easy for me to get mm -hmm. up and do this. But what I've learned is that I, I feel so, and it's even, even when you start and you're in the middle of your practice, your exercise, you're in it and you're awake. And then when you're done, I always tell my students, it's that knowing what I'm going to feel like when I'm done. And knowing how much better I'm going to feel, that's what gets me through the task. Yeah. Is that, is that understanding that I'm going to feel better throughout my day. I'm going to feel more relaxed. Um, you know, that's what helps me motivate me to get up and actually do it. Because I know that's a big thing. People think, oh, I'm not motivated. Well, you just have to get up and, be, and just do it. You know, if it's only, if your first goal is only 10 minutes, 10 minutes to walk around the, your yard or 10 minutes of putting on your favorite band and dancing in the living room. If you're doing something fun, that 10 minutes will go by like that. Exactly. You know? um, and, and you don't have to do it early in the morning like I do. You can pick the time of day that works for you. And it gives you something to look forward to. Like you said, you're doing kickboxing now and you were saying how fun it is. It's such good fun. It's such, such good fun, you know, and, um, you know, learning something in and going in as a beginner is such great fun because there's no expectation on you. If it's something you've been doing all your life, people expect you to be good and you expect yourself to be good. But when you go in and try something completely new, there's no expectations on you. So it's just pure enjoyment. Yeah. Well, I always, I've said it before. The easiest students to teach are the beginner students and the advanced students because, because yeah. both the beginner and the advanced student know that they know nothing. Exactly. And it's freeing. It's, it's absolutely freeing. Yeah. And, and the fun thing too is when you decide, so if we have somebody watching right now, it's like, I think I'm going to go try kickboxing. You're going to meet all these new people too. You're going oh, it's to brilliant. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so fun. You're going to meet, if you, if you have the money to go to cryotherapy, you're going to meet new people. Now, if you don't have money for cryotherapy because it is expensive, you can take ice baths. Exactly. Yeah. Your own, in your house. Yeah. By yourself. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's so, so important. I had some lovely testimonials this week from people that had started new products that I've been recommending. And what was so wonderful is to see the difference of the people that go all in 
and do it because you can have the best product in the world sitting on your shelf. But if you're not taking it consistently, it's not going to work. Similarly, you can be talking all the time about how exercise is good for you. But if you're just sitting there talking about it and not doing it, you're not going to feel the benefit. So whatever resonates with you, the most important thing is that consistent action and understanding your why, but also picking up, like you said, Bryce, the feedback about because when you start in a very short amount of time with whichever it is you're starting with, you will start to notice the difference. And the difference will be, like I've had people who've been taking certain supplements to help with their physical ailments who have now got levels of intuition that they've never had before and other people are noticing. Or you might have people that are taking stuff to clear their pineal band and suddenly they realise that their back doesn't hurt anymore and that their running time's gone down by two minutes. You know, so there's all these benefits that you don't, you're not necessarily aware of when you start but you and others around you will start noticing. And it's so empowering when you feel you're making progress in whatever area of your life you want to. Yeah, you are the conduit of everything. And so once you are fixed or working on you, everything around you will shift and change. Everything. Um, It's it's interesting. I actually recorded yesterday for next week, um, our part of the, the Magdalene manuscript. And they talk about in this section, he talks about the subtle body. And that's what's happening is some most of us don't have any type of inclination of what's happening in our subtle body, because we've been so distracted from it. But when you start doing an exercise, when you start doing cold therapy, when you start doing these practices, you start to tap into the subtle body, not the gross body that is already when we hit our arm, we feel it. I'm talking about the subtle body. And when that starts to, when you start to tap into that, your intuition does all of a sudden become, your gut clears out. You start to feel your gut more. And then you start to trust yourself more because you're feeling stronger within yourself just by taking that 10 minute walk every day, or just by dancing in the living room, or just by training for a 5k or just doing that. You're starting to feel more confident in yourself. And so you're more attuned so it does. It's everything. It's I like I like how you, you call it the trinity of being a human, mind, body, spirit. It's the trifecta of what we're mm. dealing with in this this life. Your mm. body is your GPS. The body never lies. Our mind lies, but our body doesn't. Yeah, and I I just love it. And consistency is key. And and you know, I know we keep saying it, but I would love anyone who's watching this, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter. We talked about the oil pulling of the teeth. We talked about the breathing. We've talked about the meditation. If you go back through our coffee chats, um, Bryce and Shanti talked yesterday on, um, is it on Shanti's channel? Yeah, isn't it? It's, yeah. I'm going to put it on mine today, I think. But yeah, it's okay, on yeah they're YouTube, really yeah. good. So on both their channels about the cold therapy, um you know i've got lots of ones on my channel about really good talks about the structured water and how that really um um you know sorts out your blood fluidity and and gets your blood moving properly about the different products i recommend it doesn't matter whichever you're drawn to but what i would love everyone to do is share their comments below to inspire others because you are all on a unique journey and we're not comparing ourselves to anyone else. You know, it's so important. This is about you. So everyone here will sort of think, oh, I wanted to try drinking herbal teas. You can see my nettles that I'm making in the background. And um, this is for the human ones, the horses. I have got my delivery. Can you see all those sacks yes. there? <laughs> Five kilogram sacks. Those are all my herbs for my animals. Um, so it doesn't matter whatever it is for you. It, breathing, walking, dancing, ice baths, whatever you do, let us know what's working for you because you will inspire someone else. And if each person can inspire one other person, we are, going back to what we were talking about with David and Medina, we are all lifting the vibrational frequency um, of the planet and it does make a difference. 100%. Fantastic. Well, I'm so impressed. Bryce is an example to all of us. Eight something in the morning and she's already done her her second call. Um, I'm off uh, before my next one for a lovely, lovely long dog walk because that just gives me so much joy seeing my dogs because every day, you know, you, everyone who's got a dog knows what it's like. They are so grateful every day for their walks. Um, yes. So it just, it just makes me so laugh and seeing them move. Oh my God, it's so beautiful to see a dog move properly or a horse or a guinea pig or a cat, the cats. I won't show you my garden at the moment. The cats, one of my cats got stuck up the tree the other day. So I've got this contraption up there to get it. She probably could have got down, but as her mummy, I was worried. Um, (laughs) 
Drop and it's going to source to you, guys. Just keep doing it, guys. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too great. Again, do not compare somebody's chapter 10 to your chapter one. Where I am in my physical uh, exercise or workout is because I've been doing this for 15 years. And this is what I do for a living off of YouTube. So don't compare somebody else to you. You are unique. And if you are in that mindset of comparing, just know that the people like me who have done this for a long time, we were beginners at one point too. So just start where you are. This is, there's no competition. There's no gold medal that comes at the end of this. This is strictly for you. You do you. You do you. And if anyone needs any inspiration, just giggle when you thought or the thought of me kickboxing, and that'll be enough. If I can start doing that, you can do anything because trust me, it is comical and I can laugh at myself. I'm going to kickbox. I, I promised Shanti and Mornay I would jump out of a plane with them in Africa. I'm going to come kickbox with you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's just it's just such good fun. And I am very happy to be a beginner at it because I've seen what some of the more advanced students are doing to each other. So I'm quite enjoying <laughs> the beginner phase. <laughs> um, but it's good fun. And also, as my daughter said, it's brilliant self-defense skills. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Especially a woman. It's, I, I feel really much more comfortable. I've only been doing it for a few weeks, I think four weeks. And the amount I've progressed in four weeks is quite amazing. I don't normally have a bit, so it's a bit, bit headed, but you know, it's amazing. So now I feel I've got such amazing self defense skills because we've been using elbows, legs, knees, whatever. That, um, so even for that reason, which is a secondary benefit, I hadn't even thought about that, wasn't in my awareness when she said, Do you fancy doing that? So there's always so much more than you think. When you start off on the journey, you're going to get so much more out of it than you even imagine possible. Absolutely. Have fun. Bye, guys. Have a brilliant day, Bryce. Thanks so you much. Too. See you soon.